Good morning. A bit wonky donkey there. Oops. I'm in that kitchen roll. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a little vlog that I'm doing this weekend. Tom's in America, so I've got the weekend to myself and I thought I would just bring you along. Film some little clips of my weekend. Yeah, just spend it with me, basically. Keep me company, if that's okay. I've had, honestly, not the best week. I've not been sleeping well at all. Waking up in the night because of my bladder, for one. I'm Helen, by the way, before I get into talking about my organs. <laughs> if you knew, I'm Helen. Um, and if you are already subscribed, then thank you so much for coming back. Just not being able to drop off to sleep and then waking up at like four o'clock in the morning, staying awake till like half five and then Connie waking up at half six for a breakfast. It's weekend though, Helen, stop morning. Um, I'm having caffeine this morning. I'm not supposed to. So yeah, I was up at the crack of dawn this morning. <clears throat> but that's okay. Hopefully, because I've got up early, I'll be able to go to bed early tonight. Um, it's currently Saturday and that means it is way day morning. I've got about hmm, 10 minutes before I've got to set off to group. And I'm hoping for a good weight loss this week. Let's do a prediction now. I think I've lost two pounds this week. I've just kind of got like half ready today. I've had my Botox top up on my lip as well. So it was a little bit uneven on one side. So she just put a tiny little bit more in on one side. I can't remember which one now. Um, and she put a little bit here, which <laughs> is freaking me out a little bit now because I was watching a TikTok last night that said, if you want a brow lift, you shouldn't be putting any Botox around this area. But I know that she knows what she's doing. It's fine, whatever. You know, when your head just falls off a little bit about it. Shoved my hair up in a bun. I was going to wash it last night, but I'm so glad I didn't because look at the weather. So, absolutely not. It's chucking it down out there. But, you know, it's really bugging me about my hair at the minute. I can never get these wispy bits to do anything but just stay there. And then throughout the course of the day, they just, like, end up over here somewhere. And I feel like I look like Willy Wonka, the original Willy Wonka. I think I used to fancy him when I was younger, but didn't tell anyone. Like, there is something about him, isn't there? <laughs> Let's put Willy Wonka Candyman on. That, that'll wake me up a bit. The Candyman King. The Candyman King, because he mixes it with that. Me, me, me. Wonka mixed everything he makes, satisfying and delicious. The sorrow and collect up all the cream. The candy man. The candy, the candy man can. The candy man thinks it's true. When he bites the cup, let's find it. Oh, I might watch this later, you know. Here we go. I know. Oh, and he's got all the teacups around him in the bodge. Your imagination. But yeah, Gene Wilde is who I mean. I had some very obscure people that I fancied when I was younger. Um, cartoon characters like the Beast from Beauty, <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. And um, me and my sister had a thing for Simba as well. Not when he was a cub, but when he gets a bit older. And I don't think it's that we fancy the lion. I think we fancy the voice behind the lion. Um, who else did I fancy? Him from Charles and Eddie. When actually was Charles and Eddie would I lie to you brought out because I don't think it's normal that I fancied a man of this age whenever this was out. It's a trust me, baby. It's him with the long hair. This bit though. Snap the kind of game I play. This, this eyebrow there is like, like, ah, oh, you just get me going. Do you know which bit I mean? It's not the kind of game I play. I can't really raise my eyebrows because of the Botox now, but you get me. Anyway, whoa, I need to set off in a minute, so. I'm going to write my list really quickly, go to Slimming World, go shopping, and then let's carry on. <laughs> Hello, Ramona. I can't 
shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know The special bars were so good this week, so they had these acacia wood serving boards and these round ones, $7.99. Then they had these glass tumblers, hand blown and clear, they were just a little bit different, I loved those, $6.99. Then some gold bits and bobs, then they had this side table that was $19.99 and this prep and go jar which I thought would be good for overnight oats if you're into them, I don't really like them but $1.99 for that, so reduced. Then they had these kitchen scales that were $5.99 and three mixing bowls which I thought was really good, £2.99 and my beloved mugs have been reduced as well, £1.49 for those under sink storage £12.99 and then they had this deep mesh fire pit for £49.99 I think it was garden week actually, they had loads of garden stuff in so yeah these portable patio heaters, they had the chimneyers, they had garden brushes they had these rattan planters that were £3.99 each and my mum got three of those and yeah, I spent about £30. I don't know exactly how much, but I have a HelloFresh box coming this week, so I didn't want to spend loads and loads. Hello, everyone. I just should probably give up this vlogging thing. Somewhere on my travels yesterday when I was out and about vlogging, I have I've hit a button on the top of my camera and it's recorded everything in slow motion all over again. And I'm like, can't believe it. So yeah, I'm fuming. It's Sunday. Let's make a cup of tea. When I was in Aldi yesterday, I was on the milk aisle and I was saying to my mum I don't want to keep drinking semi-skim milk because I did give up cow's milk once before and I felt like it really helped with my bloating and my skin and things like that and um, a woman could overhear me and she just sort of interrupted us and said oh, this, this particular oat milk is really nice in tea. I tried it yesterday and it actually is. I've tried oat milk and tea before and it made me feel sick. And the same with almond milk, I really did not like it. But this, she said because it's the barista style, it's good. And apparently you can have this as your healthy air choice as well. I'm back on the decaf. I'm not gonna keep <laughs> drinking caffeine when my doctor's told me not to. I just felt like I just felt like I really needed a coffee yesterday morning. Um I've also learnt the trick to a really good cup of tea. Last time you would have seen me making a cup of tea, I was squeezing the life out of it against the side of the mug. And apparently that's not what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to just let it brew and then just take it out like that and not squeeze it. Tom makes a really good cup of tea and that's his trick. Oat milk and tea. Does anybody else have that? One thing I was doing yesterday on camera was messing around with these tulips because these are the ones that are a week old and um, I was reflexing them so that they look like that instead of closed up and I really like how that looks. I've had some really good news this week health wise and um, I'll share that in a second but I was obviously on too much of a good run because I've managed to hit my car literally the month before I've got it paid off as well which is just Typical, in it, really. Let's have a little wander out here and see what's going on, because the lawn needs scarifying. Yeah, let's have a little chat out here, shall we? These white flowers here at the front have only just popped out. Literally took them like two days to pop out. And then obviously the magnolias in full swing. I might, um, I might do a bit of chopping on this and put a branch of them in a jug. Um, but yeah, it's looking very, very pretty. The sun's come out all of a sudden. But yeah, what I wanted to show you is um, I managed to hit my car. So what's happened is, as you can see here, the drive is on a bit of an angle. And what you're supposed to do is come in a certain way. And I've, gone, I've come in the wrong way a couple of times and thought, oh, it's fine. Like a few people have hit the cars coming in and out of this drive. Because I've managed to do it a couple of times where it hit my car. I've just been lazy and instead of turning around, I've come in the wrong way and it's my own fault. So yeah. 
it's it's looking like it's probably going to end up being a full dory spray. Great. At some point, I'm really going to have to start curving. <laughs> My little trip outside turned into me walking Connie because she hadn't been out all day. And I've just realised I've done the whole walk with that many poo bags hanging out of my coat. I've got to sort that out. And my cup of tea's gone cold, so... <laughs> BRB. Fresh cup of tea, chilling out, ready to tell you my good news. My news that I wanted to tell you is I've had some really good scan results. So, um, I have mammograms every 12 months now following having breast cancer. I'll have them for the rest of my life, I think. I got my letter this week that said... I'm pleased to inform you that your recent breast examinations have been reported as normal. Also, another bit of good news is it's related to my bladder. So, if you've been following my vlogs over the last few weeks, then you'll know I've been having investigations into my bladder. They don't think that it is to do with cancer. They think it's more to do with the treatment that I had for cancer causing these symptoms and it being sort of like late side effects. So... With my cervical cancer treatment, it ended up causing a bit of damage to my bladder and my bowel because your bladder and your bowel are so close to your cervix. And they had to treat quite a big area on me because it, the tumour had spread slightly into the tissues surrounding my cervix. I did suffer with some bladder issues during treatment, but they sort of then went away. And I want to say that it's only been sort of the last 12 months that I've really noticed it being something that is causing me issues day to day. The main one is urgency and also waking up multiple times in the night, and hence why I'm just so tired all the time. And it's not nice to have to be on a Teams call with work and two times within a one hour call, I've got to get up to go to the toilet, even though I've already emptied my bladder before the call has started. Now, one thing they know is that, my, is that I'm not emptying my bladder properly. So they did an ultrasound scan and they could see that after me passing urine, I still had about 250 mils of urine still left in my bladder, which can cause all sorts of issues. So I definitely need something doing with it because it can mess with your kidney function, having leftover urine in there and not emptying properly. The specialist said that he thinks I've got mixed symptoms. So what he's trying to do is, is establish why and what's causing it. And the first, and with the ultrasound, he wanted to rule out anything blocking my wee from coming out. I tried not to go there in my head and think about what blockage means, but I, I knew what he was meaning. And thankfully, those results have come back where he is saying he doesn't think there's anything sinister causing it. So he doesn't, he basically thinks that my bladder wall looks healthy, there's nothing attached to it, there's no mass in there that's looking dodgy. Um. That's the dog's next door, I'm going to set her off again. It's all right. Bugger, that's it. Ignore them. <laughs> Go on. I'm being called in to do a flow rate test in the next couple of weeks. I've already done one, but they need to do a repeat one. Um, it obviously, the reading, I don't think the reading was good enough. So I'm going back for that. And then the third thing that they might want to do is use a camera to go in and have a good look at the scarring on my bladder and have a look at my muscle function. Um, they think that it might be something to do with my brain not sending the signals to my bladder properly um, and that might be causing some of the issues, maybe not all. Um, but yeah, it's, it's looking like radiation cystitis mixed with something else that they just don't know yet. So uh, one of the things though that I can really do to help is cut caffeine out and alcohol which over the last couple of weeks I have drank a bit of alcohol because I've had like social things um I've definitely been weaning I've, I've not gone cold turkey on caffeine as you saw at the beginning of this vlog I had a little bit um but everything that I've had today has been decaf I, I tried to cut down on drinking and um pretty much stop um just for my mental health and it's definitely improved I will say that like and I, and I can definitely see a big difference when I drink now in the plummet with my mental health. So um, I would say that if you do suffer with anxiety and depression, maybe try and cut down on alcohol and it might make a big difference, you know. Um, I'm not saying that I'm fine now because I'm definitely not. I'm, I'm grieving and I struggle. Um, I think we all do in some capacity. Really taking notice of my alcohol consumption is... Has, has, made a, has made a huge difference, so.
So today has been really nice. I went out with my best friend Alex and she treated me to breakfast for my birthday. That was kind of off plan but I tried to make good choices where I could so I, I switched out the white bread. I had poached eggs so that there was nothing fried in oil. Um, I had avocado so I would need to sin that but I'm not counting sins really today. And then I met up with my sister and my mum and we went on a little spontaneous shopping trip. I had a voucher to spend at M&S so we popped to M&S and... <coughs> Oh, hair fever. And um, so we popped to M&S and Tesco um, and I picked up a couple of bits. So I'm going to show you what I got now. In M&S, because um, I normally had breakfast, but everybody was having lunch and cakes and stuff. I did have a cake. I had a slice of carrot cake that had like pistachio bits on it. Mmm, yum. I spent my voucher on getting some bits for the ensuite. So I'd seen this range and I just really like the packaging. They do refills for this as well, so um, it doesn't end up too expensive. This was oh. £6.50, which I didn't think was too bad, and it's the Restore range. So it's geranium, cedarwood, eucalyptus, and lavender, and it smells incredible. So in this same scent, I also got the candle, and look at that. That is gorgeous. It was eight pounds. And do you know what it smells like? Elemis cleansing balm. Exactly like that. And I love that smell. So um, it says on the front as well, candle refills available. So they must sell. Oh, they'll just sell the candle without the jar. That's good. All oh, right, I don't feel too bad about paying eight pounds for that now because it is quite small. I would just really like the cork lid on it and I like the colour of it. It's like a really dark brown. And then from Tesco, I didn't get much. I just got this to have for tea. Um, obviously, it's been a bit of an off-plan day, but I doubt there's many sins in this, you know. Tesco Finest, King Prawn Linguine. Sweet and succulent, King Prawns in a rich tomato and chilli sauce, finished with lemon zest for a delicate citrus flavour. In fact, you know what? Let's just try the prawns. Usually in the microwave meal, they shrivel up to nothing, don't they? And I make a really good sin-free version of this, so I probably should have done that and not been lazy, but I'm having one of them days where because I fell off this morning, that's it now. Um, but I don't, I feel like this will satisfy me and I won't snack for the rest of the day. Yeah, those prawns like rubber. Oh well, the sauce is good though. Four and a half sins. That's all right, that's fine. If you watched my last vlog, you would have seen I bought the St. Moritz, the exfoliating scrub to get tan off. It was rubbish. So I got this. It was £4.50. So I'm going to give that a whirl tonight when I get in the shower. Um, Orange and Wild Rose Calcott Spa Scrub. Doesn't smell much, to be honest. <laughs> and then last but not least for my holiday next month, um, I picked up this. Linen, gorgeous play suit. How nice is that? Goes into a V at the front and the back. The material feels so nice. It was £9.50. And I don't have anything like this. I have a lot of things in this colour, which, like I said in my Primark um, haul, I like to um, I like to stick to like a colour theme because it just makes mixing and matching outfits so much easier on holiday. But you can cinch that right in, um, which is perfect for me. Got it in a medium um, so that it'll be like the right size on my bum, but I can tighten it in on the waist if I want to. So hopefully that will be quite flattering on, on holiday. So I'm going to go now, have some tea, get in the shower, just chill for the rest of the night and um, probably start editing this vlog. So oh, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry it was all over the place and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.